Hey everybody, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small. Jake's with me. Hello. And today we're going to be playing some Flames of War. Shocking. I know, right? <laughs> well, last month, February, we uh, we did some Team Yankee. We, we did. We shook it up. Um, and uh, people have been asking a lot for Team Yankee, but people ask a lot for Flames of War, so this is our Flames of War battle report. Yep. This time we're going to be continuing our epic uh, Bagration duel. Struggle. Some may call it. Yes, yes. <laughs> struggle. Um, Mainly for you. So I... I <laughs> oh well, we'll see about that. Um, my uh, Russians have... Well, I, you know, I, it'd be interesting. I need to go back and see our wins and losses. But I think yeah. you've, you've, had a good, uh, you've had a good run lately. I think I new book. beat you overall, but it hasn't been like too terrible for you. <laughs> no, no, it hasn't been too terrible. But thankfully, you have a brand new army again. <laughs> I do, I do. So um, I painted up a bunch of Soviet infantry, yep. and I'm going to be running a uh, Hero Shock Rifle Battalion. That's so cool. I'll go over my, my list first. So Hero Shock Rifle Battalion. The Hero, um, whenever it says Hero, usually those units have a little bit better motivation or skill. Okay. Um but they're still usually hit on threes. Uh, so I got my HQ, which is two SMG teams. I've got uh, two Hero Shock rifle companies. Each one of those companies has basically nine rifle teams and one commissar. Cool. For that uh, commissar gives me a cool bonus for uh, motivation. Yeah. Then I have an, uh, my ever trusty Hero SMG company which is seven teams plus the Commissar there. Then I'm taking uh, three teams of Maxim machine guns, so a machine, heavy machine gun company. Okay. Then a scout platoon, which is six SMG teams that give you spearhead. Yeah. And uh, I believe those are hit on fours. I think they're a little bit more elite, but there's only six of them. Yeah, that's the one you normally take. No, I usually take there. the hero SMG company, oh, okay. which is still hit on threes. Yeah. Um, then I have a unit of 45 millimeter anti-tank guns. So four of those. They're the little tiny guns. Yeah. And they're new to the army as well. Most of the infantry is new um, for my list. Then in support of that formation, I've got uh, two batteries of four 76 millimeter artillery. Lots of artillery. Lots of artillery. Which Soviets are kind of known for their artillery. Yes. Then I have a unit of seven T-70s. So a T-70 tank company, those cute little tanks. Mm -hmm. I love those little guys. Then I have a unit of seven uh, Valentines with the uh, six-pounder upgrade for half of them. Okay. And then uh, three of the uh, IS-2s, the mighty IS-2s are going to be backing me up. Nice. I'm taking the IS-2s. You know, with those points, I had a couple of choices. IS-2s, do I take the big assault guns, the ISU? 152s? Yeah. Or do I take something like an SU-100 for killing your big cats yeah but i thought the is2s would be a good um all around unit they're they're good at killing tanks they're good at killing infantry they yeah. can squash things so we'll see how they do and then i'm taking make your own luck and lucky no smoke this time Woo all right this... <laughs> well it's a meeting engagement anyway so yeah. which we roll afterwards so it's not going to impact us that much anyway yeah uh so that's my list and it comes out to a, a good 100 points okay cool so let's go over my list um, I have an armored SS Panzer Grenadier company. Um, so for that, we have our HQ with our two um, SMG teams in it. Um, and next, we have just one platoon of uh, Panzer Grenadiers in half tracks. Uh, they're in four half tracks. Uh, no real upgrades to them at all. They're just kind of MG42, how they come. You have two of those. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, there's two of them. So yeah. Um, then I have a reconnaissance platoon, which is like my favorite little armored cars. Um, so there's seven armored cars. There's one guy per car. Um, then we have 7.5, uh, six of them, which is our uh, little gun half tracks. Armored half tracks. Yeah. Can cannon platoon, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Those guys are awesome. I really like them. And they're, I think they're like 89. So they're pretty good, but your uh, T-70s are actually a little scary against them. They are, but those are a little scary against yeah. my T-70s. <laughs> it's funny. I think no matter what, you just kind of penetrate the armor of the other person. Yeah. Um, so that'll be funny if they make contact. Um, then we have uh, anti-aircraft guns uh, to round out that formation. Um, so that's everything in the core. 
And then in support, I have Pumas, uh, trusty Pumas, trusty 88s, and then three uh, Panthers mm -hmm. to counterbalance three IS-2s. Which I think is to your favor. I think so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the fact that I just get two shots, I feel like, is, is so much better. Um, and then four Stugs on top of that. Yep. So we've got just enough armor, but lots of mechanized... So, scary for your infantry, but you have lots of little guns that are great at blowing up half-tracks. Yeah, so, I think it'll be a good... We're, yeah. we're playing an encounter, uh, so it's a meeting engagement. Yeah. So, it's not you attacking me or me attacking you. I do have a lot of infantry. You have a ton of machine guns. Yeah. I have a ton of light guns to counter the machine guns. You have a lot of anti-tank guns or high AT to counter my tanks. Yeah, it's it's going to so, be interesting. So, I think it's going to be, especially since it's a meeting engagement, it's going to be quite a, a slug of a battle. <laughs> it'll be interesting to see um, what gets put in reserve, because we're both 60% on, 40% off the table, Yeah, um, and see where it goes from there. But there you go, that's our setup. Uh, we're going to go ahead and come back with the table set up and the mission all ready to go. Awesome. And we are ready. So the table is all set up. Armies are deployed. Uh, we'll go over the mission and what we've done. The mission's encounter, Jake, as you well know, since you helped me set up. Um, encounter is a delayed reserves mission, so we each had to put 40% of our force in delayed and scattered reserves. Why don't you tell us what uh, 40 points you put in delayed and scattered reserves? Um, so I put in my Panthers, my Pumas, and a unit of half-track infantry. And I put in my IS-2s, two units of infantry, my heavy machine guns. Yes, we didn't know what each, each other was putting in there, but it was very similar things. <laughs> very similar. And our lists are fairly similar in yeah. that we've got, uh, you know, we both are, are infantry corps, although you're much more mobile with your half-tracks, but yes, we'll see what happens. All right, so uh, with that, how did you deploy? You deployed lengthwise, 12 inches in. Yep. What do you got? Um, so I have... 88s over here. Um, I put a lot of stuff kind of smushed in the middle here. Um, my anti-aircraft guns, a uh, unit of Panzer Grenadiers, uh, the command, four Stugs, my 7.5s back here, and then my unit of half tracks on the road so they can take advantage of it if they so choose. Um, we had to go back and forth and you actually got to put down basically all your tanks um, after I put down all of my stuff. So that's why I've kind of kept a lot of stuff in the middle to kind of see where you went because I didn't want to put Stugs over here and then you just put all of your tanks on that side so you didn't want to commit to a yes. particular so that was kind of my thought for it yeah uh, yeah and then the idiots kind of had to go here um, because I don't know they probably won't survive given you have a lot of artillery but yeah. we'll see if they can kill a few tanks well the thing is too for those watching we're both playing one of the reasons Jake's taking SS is we wanted to keep it relatively close since we're both taking similar types of lists yeah um so most of jake's army is hit on a three plus if not all of your army yeah that's and all i army. think all of my army except one i think my scout platoons hit on a four so we're all hit on three pluses so if anything else happens today during this battle we're assured that there will just be lots of death yes lots of destruction sure. <laughs> which is honestly win or lose that's that's much more fun yeah that's the best part all right so that's a good deployment good deployment let's see what i did over here on my far right i've got my unit of uh, valentines i've got a unit of 76 millimeter artillery here i have a mix of my hq in the back uh, my 45 millimeter anti-tank guns and a unit of infantry here my t-70s here my observer which i may or may not have mentioned in my unit army overview then i have another battery of 76 millimeters artillery back here and then a uh, infantry platoon dug in on that objective and then what i'm holding off is my is2s two infantry platoons and heavy machine guns yep. which i think i mentioned before but We'll do that again. So the encounter mission is um, we roll off to see who gets the first turn because it's a, a meeting engagement. So let's see what happens. Three, three, three. Ah. <laughs> four, six. six. All right. So you have the first turn, which means your vehicles are shooting at moving rate of fire and no artillery bombardments, which isn't a penalty to you. 
Okay, on to German turn one. Alright, Jake is done with his movement, and just uh, to point out rules-wise, we just double-checked to make sure we were playing it right. The attacker, when you win that roll-off, you get the first turn. There's no, it doesn't have any verbiage about may take the first turn or whatever. It just says the winner is the attacker, which and is, the attacker goes first. Yes, which is bad for me in this case. I wanted to go second because you have artillery, so you would have been nerfed by it. Yeah. Then it would have halted your guns to rate of fire one, which is fine. And then I could have shot you with full rate of fire 88s on my turn. And the 88s would have been safe. Like, for basically for the 88s, it was really big. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they still get one shot instead of two, but um, yeah, I, I don't think, I think it would be worse if I would have had the first turn. Yes. I think it would have hurt me more. Yes. That's what you're saying. You want you want to cause me pain. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So with that said, uh, do you want to go over your movement? Uh, yeah. So I've pushed up my stugs because they're pretty yeah. safe on the table currently. The only things that can really hurt me is like your artillery guns, which are far back. And direct fire. Range yeah. and can't see me. Yeah. And uh, the T70s I'm not scared of unless they get on my sides. Yep. But you're gonna have to work pretty hard to do that. I feel like I've got some anti-tank ten over here, and they're all the way over there, which is your big threat. Yep. And I've got anti-tank eight here, which at best at short range could bail you, so it's not really a big threat. Exactly. I, honestly, the biggest threat's probably the RPGs that are in the, these platoons. Yeah, but I have to get really close for them. So. Yeah, because I, I I can't shoot them. I, I only assault. And that's something I may not have mentioned in my thing. Is two of my three of my uh, platoons or companies have the RPG upgrade card. All right, uh, so let's go into shooting. Do you know what you're going to shoot with first? Yeah, because I okay. really don't have that much shooting at all. Okay. So uh, the 88s are going to target the um, Valentines over here. Okay. Um, so basically, I guess I should probably do them separate since that building kind of blocks a lot. So this 88 is going to shoot him. Okay. And this 88 is going to shoot the one on the end. All right. Um, so this one first. Hit so it's going to be five. Yeah. Th threes, th fours, fives. Wait, it's threes normally. Yeah. Fours for range. Yes. Five for concealment. Yes. Six for gone to ground because they haven't moved yet. All right. Do tanks get gone to ground in the open? If they're concealed. No. So the the first turn was really, really bad. <laughs> it's basically what. Yeah. I mean, that'd be true for anyone shooting at you. If I would have had the second turn. <laughs> well, that said, I know you're complaining you about this, but fours. I think 40K would, would be served by a cool rule like this. Yeah. I mean, 40k should just be alternate activations to make it somewhat fair. It would, but man, 40k would take forever to play a game. Yes. You'd yes, have to would. play for less points. Okay, no no more 40k talk. <laughs> All right, uh, so single shot, uh, two shots needing sixes. If this guy on your... I'm wondering if I even want to shoot you at sixes, to be quite honest. I well, if I'd you keep your gone to ground safe. status, yeah, that's a good good point. I think I just won't shoot then. Okay. Any shots over here? Uh, yeah, because I'm not losing anything over okay. here. So he's going to shoot... At this guy. At my observer? Yeah. Okay. Um, so same thing, you need sixes. Yeah. Nope. nope. And then these three shooting at uh, anti-tank guns that are back there. Okay. So uh, those, you need sixes as well. Yep. One. Okay. One. And I think these guys have a three up, but I'll double check if it's close. Uh, well, I know they definitely have a four up, so yep. they're safe. And that's one hit on these guys. Any other shooting uh, cannon platoons have? Can't reach. Can't reach. All right. So that's it for German turn one? Yep. Okay. You you fired the first shot. Let the history books note As that the, the SS fired the first shot. The round just sails by the scout. <laughs> it's like, they're on to us. <laughs> All right. On to Soviet turn one. All right, so Soviet movement's done. I'm being a little cautious, and I'll explain my caution to, to everyone, including Jake. Because here, when we do these video, video battle reports, I don't mind telling you my strategies, unless it's some super devious strategy that I need you to fall for. Um, just so players get an idea of not just where we're putting the models, but why we're making the choices we're making. Yeah. They're not always the right choices, but at least you know why we're doing them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so I pushed my Valentines up over here. Um, these guys stayed put because they're going to be putting some direct fire onto those guys. I've got uh, all this massive infantry here that I was thinking about moving forward, but 
with Jake being so aggressive with that armor, if I move them forward, they're just going to get machine gunned to oblivion. Yeah. But I did move my T-70s up here, so if he pushes forward any further, he's going to have to worry about T-70s maybe trying to get on your flank and stuff like that. Obviously over here, these guys are going to stay put. They're in a good position, a good defensive position, and you're not threatening it, so they're not going to do anything right now. So I don't have too much shooting except for... Um, what I can throw at the 88s. I'm going to start with a bombardment. These guys are going to bombard the 88s using my company or battalion commander to spot. Basically I'm picking a spot right in between the two. Yep. So I get both. Um, they have to be within six inches. The artillery template is six inches so we know that there's a point in the middle of that field somewhere that would cover both of them. Mm -hmm. Normally I'd range it on a four or five because the template covers short terrain in this case the wheat field. Yes. All right so let's see a five. So close, second attempt. There we go. Now, you can put that ranged in marker there, Jake. We, we have this ongoing theory, if you put the ranged in marker first, you I always miss. Yes. So Jake was trying to make me put it down before. Yes, it happens so often. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so normally you're hit on threes, but because of the second attempt, you're hit on fours. Yeah. All right, so the one on my left is missed, and the one on my right is missed. But I am ranged in. Yep. All right, next up, this unit of 76 millimeter artillery is going to bombard. Try to range in on the same spot. Okay. So you ready for this? Yep. Uh, first attempt on a five. Second attempt. Got it. So the one on my left hitting you on a four. The one on my right. <sighs> At okay. Least you're double ranged At in. least I'm double ranged in. <laughs> And I still can't hit the broadside of a barn. So let's see. Now these uh, Valentines are kind of out in the open. So we got to get some shots in. So we'll do that next. Excellent. All right. The Valentines are going to be firing. They all need sevens to hit you. Um, we're going to target that guy there because everyone can see him. Okay. And I doubt if I get lucky, I'll get one. But yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's see some sixes first, followed by a five or six. Nope. And uh, with that, my shooting is done. Okay. German movement is done. What have you done, Jake? What have you done? Okay, so basically this flank has just moved over. I want to take out as many T-70s as I can, while I can. Um, so we've moved over. You've been hiding like a goward, so we have to come and root you out of your hidey hole. I'm being tactical, thank you very much. Uh -huh, sure. And then everything else pretty much stay over here except for the company commander. He's within the platoon leader range just in case maybe I can save 188 but we'll see. Good call, good call. Uh, do you know what you're gonna be shooting first? Yes, yes. So let's shoot the 88s first. All right, 88s. Who are they going after? They're going after these Valentines over here. All right. Um, so we'll just have everybody aim at this one I guess. Okay, yeah. Since I think you're all, right, you're all outside of 16. Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter where I go. Yep, so normally threes, fours for range, fives for concealment. Yep. Good, Woo it's worth it. All right, Valentine's are, <laughs> they don't deserve to live after that performance. That was pretty sad. <laughs> okay, um, next we have Stugs. So uh, hopefully they'll do better than their other friends. Okay. So we're going to, the, with these two, we're going to target the ones in the back, basically. Okay. Um, and then these two will just have to target this guy right here. He's the only one they can see? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, well, so these two first. Just hit on threes because there's no concealment in that shot. I missed them both. Oh, excellent. Good job. And then these two. We're going to double kill this guy. Oh, dear. Yes. <laughs> Firepower. Uh, destroyed. All right, so he is dead. Okay, uh, my 7.5s are both going to target uh, this guy right here. Okay. Um, so he can see him pretty much out in the open, but he gets concealed. He no, can also see he that. He sees him out in the open because woods do not provide concealment like that anymore. Oh, Remember? that's right. Yeah. Okay, cool. So just two straight up uh, shots on threes. Okay. One hit. It's a nine to your four. Four. So I could bounce this. Yeah. Let's see a six. Bounce. Reaction. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other shooting? Nope. 
Alright, on the Soviet turn two. Okay, I'm done with movement. Let's see what happened. Those guys stay put. They put, stay put, stay put, stay put. These guys ran away because you killed their friend. Like cowards in your goward field filled with cowards. Alright, with that <laughs> said, we're going to have these guys drop a bombardment again right there. Alright. So we're hitting you on threes. The guy on the left. The guy on the right. Okay. Guy on the right. That's, uh, you're re-rolling your successful saves. So just chunk two dice. Four plus. Are you sure it's not three plus? I'm pretty sure we can double check, but... And that's a firepower, so he's dead. If, in fact, he is a four plus. Next, these Valentines are going to be firing into the remaining 88. I need sixes to hit you, though. Yep. Because of cursed no HE on those guns. All right, here we go. Sixes. And we got one. Let's see uh, another four-up save for you, Jake. Nope. nope. Let's see if I can get that uh, four-up firepower. No. No HE is much better now than what it used to be, though. I forget what it used to be. Before, you just couldn't shoot at me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, now it's like you get your firepower and everything. Do I spend my... Do I spend my lucky card? I really want him dead. So, yeah, lucky. Okay. Here we go. Ah! Excellent. I mean, I'm not spending my <laughs> Alright, the T-70s are going to fire their overworked guns at you. Yes. So I've got three that uh, you get concealment from that wreck. Very convenient. Um, it was. So that's going to be fives to hit, and then I've got three that can see you out in the open, so those are going to be fours to hit. Okay. So here are the fives. We got one, and here are the fours. We got three more. All of them. So uh, I don't think anyone else is in range that they can see. Um, so let's do two on each one of those guys. Okay. It's AT7 versus, I think your front armor. I think it's one on those guys? One or two, yeah. So I need fives or okay. probably sixes. So, so that's. None for him. And the guy on the left, none for him. All right. And I think these guns are for firepower. The guy on my left got him. The guy on my right got him. All right, uh, this battery, I was saving them to see if I could direct fire into those half tracks, but since the T-70s did the job, they're just going to bombard again over there. So there's only one gun under the template, um, and we're going to hit you on threes. So let's see if we can get it. Okay. No. That's true. I know. And with that, that is the end of my turn, because I think these guns are out of range. So, that's it. Okay, on to German turn three. Let's find out if you get some reserves. And first things first, on the German turn, we're going to unpin the 88s. They're unpinned. Do they stick around? Up, oh, company commander. No, nope, yeah. he's gone. I hate they, that you have to roll to unpin before morale because it's just depressing. It's like, yay, <laughs> you left. Like, well, with tanks, it's important because you might uh, like bail it? back in so that you don't need to make a morale test. So that's why it's first. I know, uh, like they should just say for all infantry and gun teams, it's just roll your thing. <laughs> uh, so there you go. That that. So I accomplished what I wanted to, just not on my turn, your turn. So now here's the fun thing: do you get reserves? One die and a five plus. I do. You got reserves. What are you bringing in? I don't know. Probably. All right, Jake's bringing in his Panthers. It's scattered reserves. One, two, this corner. Three, four, the back line. Five, six, that corner. Five, yeah. six, that corner. <laughs> My Valentines will live another day. Jake's movement is done. What happened? All right, well, I moved the Panthers 20 inches this way. You really the wanted them over this... Or corner. even anywhere but On the backfield, <laughs> yeah. That was the worst it one. Basically, I just like delayed getting reserves for another turn. <laughs> that seems to happen to you quite a bit. Your reserves always come in to place you don't want them to come yeah. in. Or just don't come in. <laughs> or just don't come in. <laughs> I really hate reserves. All right, then uh, what else did you do? Uh, everything else pretty much stayed. These guys scooted back up here. Um, I think I am going to 
drive the anti-aircraft guns into here, but I forget what the cross-check is, so I'll do that. Well, roll it. Is it either like a three or a four? Yeah, it's something. So one of them, and the second one, good. So they should be good. All right, and then that's it for movement for Germans. Okay, um, all my stugs are staying put, and they're all shooting this guy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the T-70, not the armored car. Correct. All right, eight shots now. Normally, oh, we might want to check range, Jake. Some of those might be short range, some of them might be long range. All right, so that's two at short range, two at long range. So the short range needs uh, fours for concealment, and then fives for the long range, concealment, and long range. Long range concealment and long range. So that's fours and fives. You said that very funny. All right, so these guys. So these are the ones need fours. Yes. Two hits. Okay. And then the other guys needing fives. One hit. Okay. So go ahead and assign those. And theoretically, at long range, the one hit I could bounce. I mean, no, I could equal. So my front armor four goes to five. Your anti-tank 11, so if I roll a 6, I would get an 11. So which one's the... that has to be the long-range guy. No. Alright, so let's see some firepowers. Okay, so 3 plus. Bailed. This guy. Destroyed. destroyed. That's good. Destroyed. Okay, so these two are destroyed, and he's bailed. And with that, any other shooting? Uh, no, but I'm going to try to shoot and scoot. With the... Stucks. Stucks, okay. Since they're the only ones that shot. Gotcha. Well, anyone could do scoot and shoot, even if they don't shoot. Well, yeah, but they moved. Shooting is not a requirement. They do. Okay. All right, so they shot and scooted there. And with that, that concludes German turn three. Yep. All right. Start of the Soviet turn. Uh, first things first, we're going to try to bail back in here on a four up. And we do. And uh, that, I think that's all my housekeeping. So, what we will do is let's see if I can match your reserve roll, Jake. I hope not. Okay, so we're looking for a five up for some tasty reserves. No. Excellent. No, I guess I'm on the defensive this turn. Soviet movement is done. The Valentines moved over. One to try to screen themselves from those Panthers that are coming to murder them. Yep. <laughs> I think my T-70s are going to stay put and go to ground. Cowards. Uh, I'm going to stay put here, uh, but I will bombard that unit of four half-tracks on the road. I think I can bombard them without covering any terrain. That should be pretty pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and do that. But probably both bombardments are going to go there. They can self-spot, and then the company commander can spot for them, the battalion commander. Yeah. So the first battery, we'll just try to range in over there by them. Um, I just need a four. I got it. And then I don't care which half-track is which, so I'm just going to roll four dice under the template. Your ranging in is still an impeccable thing. <laughs> well, it was second attempt first time. But then I couldn't hit anything. Still, you still did it, and they're still gone because of those guns. So yeah, that I don't think awesome. it really matters if it's like slightly off. All right, so I'm hitting you on threes. So I got two hits. It's any tank two, so a one is a fail and a two is a bounce. Okay. So this one. Okay. So possible, possible bail. bail. And this one. Bounce. Bounced. And he's bailed out. Okay. All right, and then uh, we'll try to range in with the second battery. Same deal, range in on a four. Got it. See, first try. <laughs> and then uh, we'll roll the bailout guy separately. Here are the other three. Uh, we got one, no, we got two hits. And then the bailout guy is hit. So the uh, bailout, bailout guy. guy. Good. Okay. And the guy, the new guy that was hit. Good. And one more, one more oh, new one guy more. was hit. Uh, possible bail. Four up. That's another bail. You haven't failed anything for them yet. <laughs> All right. Well, you could have rolled some ones for me. That would have been yeah, at least a polite thing to do. Me failing. <laughs> All right. Um, and with that, I don't have anything else in range. I'm kind of having to hunker down while your Panthers are on the field hunting. Yeah. I can't do anything till my IS-2s come to match you. I'm not. I'm never getting out of my half tracks unless 
all those guns are gone. So. Yeah, yeah, that gives you the advantage in pushing the attack versus me. I have to walk my guys out in the yeah. open. All right, uh, on to German turn four. All right, so we got two half tracks that need to bail back in. Yes, so this one, he does, and the other one, he maybe does. I think so, I think they're all three pluses. Okay, and then uh, you got two dice for reserves. Let's see if you can bring in some more dudes. Yes. No. No, okay. And something we both need to pay attention to, read our cards closely, the half track has a four up remount, even though its motivation is three up. Yeah. Um, because it's a transport, and transports have worse remount. The infantry themselves would have re would have unpinned on a three, but so you have one still uh, bailed out is the ultimate result of that. Yes. Okay. On the continuing German movement. German movement's done. What happened? Um, I just kind of shuffled things around here, gave these guns a better spot, so when maybe tanks do come out, they can shoot something. Um, the Panthers moved over, so they can all shoot this turn. And these guys all spread out, because there's nothing else for them to really do. So they don't want to stay under the artillery template? Not really, except uh, for him. He likes it. Yeah, <laughs> apparently he does. All right, um, so you've got uh, some shooting now. Where do you want to start? Uh, over here. Okay. Uh, four shots into T-70s, so it's going to be... I'm within 16 with everybody now, so it's going to be um, threes go to fours because of concealment, and fives because you're gone to green. That's true. So I get eight shots. Okay. Everybody aiming at that jerk on the end. This guy here? Yeah. One. Good job, guys. Okay, well, uh, if, every, if they're all within short range, then just go straight to firepower. I can't stop them. Yep. So that guy is bailed. Awesome. Yay. Good job, Stugs. That was a... You're worth your... And it was this guy right here. Points or he is bailed out. All right. And then uh, your Panthers? Yeah. Three shots needing fours. Yeah. That's just out in the open. Hopefully they can hit something. They I got one, one hit. of them can. All right, uh, firepower, my... Destruct. Okay. Now, which one were you shooting at? Uh, that one. All right, I'm going to try to swap them to tail end Charlie over there. Okay. Three up. Yeah. So that one's dead now. Ha! Ah, how did we miss that far? Uh, well, well, <laughs> but you did. You mistaken target. All right, we're scooting and shooting the stugs. Yes. They fit. Well, there you go. All right, and uh, that's it for German turn. Yep. On to Soviet turn four. All right, uh, first things first, we're going to try to bail back in over here on a, I believe it's a four up. It's definitely a five up. So he's back. I think you bailed him out last time too, same one. Yes. All right, let's see if I can get some reserves in. I, I really need something. Cool. <laughs> All right, movement. Movement is done. I drove in some cr uh, Valentines, sorry, not Cromwells, into the woods. What some kind of, of Russian player are you? I don't know. I don't <laughs> know my British tanks. Uh, these guys stayed put. Uh, I thought I, I tried to blitz them back, but I failed, so they're going to stay there. Um, even though it's short range. I will have one shot there from that uh, Valentine into the Stug. We'll see what we can make happen. Okay. The, oh yeah, these guys inched forward four inches. These guys stayed put. I think we're just gonna repeat bombardment, maybe pick off that one half track. So uh, let's start there on that half track. I'm going to uh, hit you on a three. So make a uh, Armor check, but you're re-rolling successful saves, so. Even for armor? Yep. Huh? I failed it No, anything. don't need to worry about it. <laughs> so it's penetrating hit, and uh, it's bailed out again, so make a morale check, which I believe is a three up. Yep. So he's just bailed out. Yay. And then we got one shot here into that stug. Um, short range. Uh, you're out in the open, so I'm just hitting you on a three. Yep. We got it. So 10 versus your 7. Really good at saves. Pah, bailed out. Yeah, but your SS, so bailed out means practically nothing to your tanks anyway. I mean, it always does, no matter who you are, it feels like. Yeah. 
And uh, with that, I don't have any other shots. They're not shooting so that they can survive another turn. I'm get automatically getting reserves in next turn, but you're getting automatically getting reserves in this turn as well, so yes. that may or may not help me. All right, on to uh, German turn five. Yep. Got some uh, bailing back in to do. You've got a bail out half track on a four. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Reroll. Okay. <laughs> okay, he's staying bail out. And then I think it's a two up. We'll double check Pretty if you sure roll something is. else. It's definitely not a one. Commander. Though there it's definitely a six. Next up, you got reserves. Three dice. You one. Got one. German movement is done. What'd you do, Jake? Uh, so we got our Pumas in, in this corner, which wasn't very helpful, because all the guns are in this corner. So we drove them to the middle. <laughs> uh, we dashed them. Uh, we moved, we kept this guy still, but we moved these three over, because I don't want to waste any more time shooting at T-70s. Okay. Um, everybody else is just, just kind of chilling. Uh, we tried to drive him into the woods again, but he failed for the third time. Yeah, yeah. Everybody else has gone to ground, I guess. Yep. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to shoot you with some Panthers. Okay, sounds good. So basically, uh, he has an open shot, but these two have concealed shots. No, they all have open shots. Woods don't block line of sight. Oh set. yeah, oh that's good. So three so, open shots. Three open shots, and you want to check the range on that farthest guy, make sure he's got it. Yes, measure it live. Measure it live. They are all, oh, it's very close. Oh, I think he is within range. They're all in short range? Yep. Excellent. Okay. Only just. Then you just need threes. All right. Let's see some ones and twos. Two hits. Yay, I hit something twice. You hit those two, so my so. six, I can only go with 12. You're any tank 14, so just firepower. Yep. So this guy. All right, three up. Oh, six. Yay. And then this guy, six. Double sixes. Convenient. We blew up things. <laughs> All right, and all four of these guys will shoot at this Valentine because we don't like him. All right, so that's uh, five shots. Uh, correct, yes, because two, three, four, five for the people at home who are confused. Yes, like this guy. All right, and then uh, you need fours because I'm concealed, but that's it. Everything yes. got, everyone's in short range here. Conceal this. Three hits. Okay, well, you can only hit that one guy, so let's see if I can do any saves. Okay. My front armor is six. So I need a 5 to equal and a 6 to bounce. Uh, how about I'll fail all 3 for you. 3 plus 5. Come we, on. Oh, we got. I saw the 2 first. It's so I much easier a, to hit than a T-70. Glimmer of hell. <laughs> yeah. Jake was very kind. He didn't leave me any bailout tanks, just destroyed tanks. So I try. I'm going straight to um, reserves. I'm getting one for sure, but let's see if I can bring in more and try to turn this game around. Nope. Nope. Thank goodness Still, you I get the one. Failed every single one. Yep. <laughs> We're bringing in the IS2s. So let's see what corner they're coming in. One, two, three, four backfield. Five, six over there. Five, six over here. Excellent. All right. Soviet movement's done. My IS-2s rumble down the field. They're going after your Panthers. It's, it's going to make the game quick one way or another. Yeah, it's basically, we were talking about this, and because we're so, we're fairly like, one person can't really push without a significant disadvantage, but whoever wins this fight between here has a significant advantage in yeah. the fight. Really, overall. whoever wins here is probably going to be the person that has to push. Yes, yeah. exactly. And then I move my T-70s out. Uh, and those guys... Just moved a little bit. They're, <laughs> they're just driving in circles. They're ready to pounce. Help me. <laughs> uh, so let's go to shooting. I guess we'll repeat this bombardment on that one stupid <laughs> half track that's bailed out over there. Um, just leave him alone, man. <laughs> so let's see if we can hit him on a three up. Ah, right, we got him again. All right, problems. let's see you fail one more time. <laughs> no, you passed. made it that time. All right, these guys. I guess they've got a bombardment. Um, so back there, if I range in, I should be able to get two under a template, right? Oh, are you talking about? Yeah, back there. Yeah. Here, wait, hold on. Let me see. They're within, if they're within command, I can get yes. two. In. All right. So we'll try to drop it right there on a three up. Three up. There we go. 
So I'm hitting your two tanks on a four. So the one on my left, because it's the second temple one on my right. There we go. I hit the one on my right. Is it this one? No. Oh, no, wait, no. you're right. Yeah. Directions are hard. Uh, possible bail. Bailed out. Okay. We're having lots of fun with the bailed out vehicles. Well, my artillery has to do something, right? <laughs> Head in here. This is the big show. We got three shots hitting those IS-2s. All right. Yeah, uh, it's uh. I'm Panthers. You're IS. Oh, I'm I'm yeah. Scratch don't shoot that. Shoot yourself. <laughs> I'm shooting the Panthers, not myself. Okay. <laughs> Normally I hit you on threes, fours because you're concealed in the woods, and fives because I'm slow fire. Oh, I forgot that. So there we go. I want at least two of these. If they weren't slow firing, I feel like they would be such a bigger threat. I got one. So it's 14 versus your 9, and it's the guy that's closest to me. This guy? Yep. Okay. All right. Aha. Okay. So. 14. Yeah. Bailed out. 2 plus is scary. <laughs> with that, I'm done with my, my movement. I bailed out a panther. I bailed out a half track. I'm yes. going to get one of those half tracks eventually. Someday. Uh, so oh, it's over to German turn six. Yes, and, and my last reserve just. Your last in. reserve came in. So you've got a. Uh, oh, wait, let's do a turn transition. Right. Sorry, I didn't think it mattered, but it actually does matter just because of ranges. So I want to try to swap this hit to this guy over here. Yeah, yeah, he was the only guy that was in close range. Yes, yes. And I think he might be within close range of that guy, but only just. And so it does swap over. Okay. Which yeah. is better for me. And then, uh, now you can do your, uh, you got bail-ins. Yes. Uh, so three up here. Yeah, bail back in. Which we so, do. And then over there you got two half tricks. Yes, yeah, so uh, this guy, uh, no, because nope. it's a four plus, but my company commander's in range of the commander, so we do get back in here, okay. and then this guy, I'll just roll two guys. Yay, he finally gets back in. Finally gets back in. We are fully operational. All right. So with that, we're on to German movement. All right. What'd you do for movement? So here's what we did. We've moved over the Stugs. We okay. got my reserves in. Okay. We moved over the guys who've been getting shelled on for the whole game. <laughs> um, Hopefully we kill all the T-70s so they don't threaten the half-tracks. Okay. So we can get the half-tracks to that objective. Okay. And hopefully you don't get reserves in that corner. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of hope. <laughs> well, there's uh, two-thirds of a chance I'll get them in the corner I want. Yes, <laughs> which is sad. But, you know, okay. hopefully that won't happen. All right. And then you did some repositioning over there? Uh, yes, we repositioned cars. We put our one car with the gun on this side to shoot that guy. Okay. And then Pumas went over here. Uh, they dashed. Oh, I forgot to move my commander. He's not going to stay there. He's going to go okay. somewhere. All right. Um, and then the Panthers are going to all shoot at those jerks. Okay. Sounds good. Yes. Why don't you move your commander, then we'll go into shooting. Okay. Where did your commander drive off to? He drove back here. The coward. All right. Well, did... <laughs> he's just got to talk to people. It's not really out of, like, cowardice. He's going to give them a firm talking to. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, on to shooting. Where are you going to start? Oh, let's start over with the Stugs. Okay. Everything into this guy. Okay. Because I hate him. Four shots hitting on threes. The fiery passion of a thousand suns. Two hits. All right. Firepower. Um, yes. Uh, three plus. Destroyed. And firepower. And destroyed. Okay. They're testing. I'd All right, they're not testing. Okay, next, <laughs> next shots. This crazy old man. All right, um, I'm going to. So nothing can really shoot over here except we're going to shoot my little gun here into that recon car. Okay. Which we are in range. Cool. Well, I'm not sure we paid for that in your list. It's free. Oh, it's free. Yeah, okay. you can. It's like for free. You can change one regular guy to this gun. Okay. Which why wouldn't you always do that? That's a very good deal. Uh, I missed because okay. it's long range. Yeah. And uh, here's the fun show over yes. here. Yes. So double the shots. Easier to hit you. Well, one guy's at long range. Yes. That's right. I forgot that. So the other guy's short range. So you're going to need fours and fives. Yes. So here are the fours. Three hits. Oh. That's pretty good. And then two hits on fives. One. So we will put. Mm -hmm. 
two on this guy and one one. Okay, here's the one on the two on the first guy. Okay. So your anti tank fourteen, my front armor's ten. So I need four to equal, five or higher to bounce. So I equal and I bounce. So for the so equal? Three up firepower to bail me out. Nope. He's good. All right. Good start. Next guy. I'm going to make your own luck and automatically equal on a four. So do a firepower to bail me out. Bailed out. Bailed out. Okay. And then the last guy. Oh. Duh. Penetrated. Three plus five. Destroyed. Okay. At least we got something out of that. Yeah, one. Well, you bailed out another one. That's pretty good. Don't you like a three plus though? For what? To get back in. Uh, I don't know. Something like something that. good. We'll find out next turn. Do you have any other shooting? Uh, no, but I will shoot and scoot these guys. Okay. Right. On a three plus. We do. All right. Start of the turn. I'm going to try to. Bail back in on that tank on a four up. No, so that unit needs to test. Oh no. But my last stand is a three up. Oh, that's good. For the fatherland or motherland or whatever it is. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so they <laughs> run away. What have you done, man? <laughs> so he runs away, the other guy blows up. <sighs> All right, reserves, let's see what I can do. I still fail all my reserves, so I get one more platoon. Yes. Okay, let's see what side it comes in on. That corner. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to do some uh, artillery fire. I guess I should go over movement. My scout platoon came in here. They ran on. Hopefully they'll be able to dig in next turn. Um, my T-70s, they're not long for this earth. Either they go back here and die, or if they drive forward and die, they're going to do that. They'll get a couple shots at half tracks. And uh, over here, my guys are now just hunkering down, watching the IS-2s drive on explode and then the commander of the ice twos run away at full speed they uh I just, they're like oh no i just hate that like big tanks running away like that it makes me really sad all right you you sad all right <laughs> so let's go ahead and try to range it on that spot remove that range in marker please uh, but that's where you chose or yeah, attempting to range it here, we'll observe has he missed? no no don't no nah. <laughs> don't do that. all right here we go it was already there it tainted the roll see watch you fail now four up excellent second attempt there we go. <laughs> All right, so we pre-measured. It's three on that platoon on my left and two on the platoon on my left. Can I have a range in marker to make it official here? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy that. <laughs> so we hit two over there, and then we hit one over there. Okay, so this guy passed it. Okay. This guy passed. Okay. And the last guy passed. Well, that was that was effective. Yes. Okay, let's uh, do their two shots. Could you see if it's short range, long range to those half tracks? Short. Yeah, short range. Okay, two shots. Normally hitting you on threes because you're going to be on the open, but four is because of my poor overworked gun. Yep. Okay, well, they, <laughs> they missed. They were so busy driving out in front of the stugs, they got intimidated. Uh, then uh, these guns... I think the, hmm, I guess the observer will try to range in about two inches into those woods there. <laughs> so, since you moved your stuff I forgot up against that. that. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. So, um, yeah, let's range in. Let's see if it matters on a five. Second attempt. Third attempt. Yay! You failed to range in attempt. <laughs> uh, okay. So with that, that's my amazing turn. Okay. All right, so... Welcome back. It's a new day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole new day. All right, so here's the deal. Here's the rub. With my IS-2s destroyed, yep. my Valentine's pretty well shot, and even at the best, they're AT-10 versus your <clears throat> Panthers. Yes. <clears throat> That's not a good matchup. I have two T-70s left. Facing your stugs, yep. which I've hit repeatedly, but they just bail out and get back in. Yeah. Same thing with your Panthers. So, at this point, looking at the battlefield, even though I have a lot of stuff, and I, a lot of stuff hasn't died, but yeah, it's the still you have a very good defense still. I do, but only a defense. <laughs> so, there's no way I'm going to be able to win this. You yep. could just sit at range, 
knock out all my guns at long range, then move into machine gun range and machine gun me until you're safe enough to assault. And it might take five turns, it might take ten turns, but the writing's on the wall. There's nothing I can really do, barring you making a really boneheaded mistake, Yes. to win the game. Yeah. So at this point, I'm going to concede. However, since we haven't been playing that long, what we're going to do is we're going to try... We're going to pretend we're at a tournament. Yes. And at a tournament, Encounter is one of those rough games. Um, Meeting be, engagements are the worst. <laughs> they're, they're tough, but they're good to have in the mix because it's a different skill or a different challenge to overcome. Yeah. But some lists deal with it so much better than, than other lists. So what we're going to do is we're going to play, we're going to limit ourselves to three more rounds. So I concede right now, you've won the game. But can you get a double win in <laughs> yes. three turns? This is a more of a tournament win. Because at a tournament, if I got to this stage, I'd be like, all right, crap. Like, I have the advantage now, but can I clear out enough guys to take to the win. objective? And in a tournament, you might even be like, well, this is the objective I'm going to concentrate on. I'm not even going to worry about moving stuff over here. Maybe you will move them into better position, but it's something you have to think. Doing all that and shooting all that is going to take time that yeah. you like. Is it worth it? Want to save for the assault, but we're not going to do time. We're not going to whip out a clock yeah. or anything. It's hard to do while you're filming. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we're going to do. We're just going to do three turns. So at three turns, our pretend um, tournament organizer will will call the game. So can Jake kick me off either one of these objectives because he's got a shot either way? Yeah. Um, in three turns, knowing that. Next turn, I have at least one more infantry platoon coming in. Yes. Somewhere. So, all right. So there we go. We're going to let Jake do his movement. All right. The uh, German movement's done. What happened? Um, so I've pushed the half tracks up to the side here. Um, one unit is within range of the unit that just came on. So. You want to shoot at these guys because they're not dug in. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So um, hopefully we'll kill all those guys. Um, we have we left our Pumas still so they can kill T-70s as well as we left this guy still. Uh, these two moved out, he bogged. Um, we moved this unit of cars over. Um, next turn they'll be to, there to help do machine gun fire. Uh, we moved the Panthers up and right these two half tracks to hopefully eliminate these guys. Um, and so yeah, we'll see. All right, uh, so where are you gonna start? Um, we're gonna start over with the half tracks. Okay. Um, so basically I get four shots per half track. Okay. You were hit on threes, right? Or are these I am the hit on threes. Okay. Oh no, they are the scouts. They are hit okay. on fours. That's why I brought them on, so they would be harder to hit. Yep. Even though they weren't in foxholes. So I have 16 shots. Hitting on fours. Yep. Alrighty, that's pretty good. Alright, we hit you four, eight. Oh, perfect. <laughs> okay, and I think there are six teams in there. So, they're all the same, so two teams, I'm sorry, there we go. So two teams will get two hits and then um, one hit for each of the other ones. So here's the first dude, we'll just go clockwise starting with that guy. I want to prioritize the back, like the farthest back guy. Okay. So let's put two hits on the farthest back. Alright, we'll try to swap that to the front guy. No. Alright, here we go. Save on the farthest guy in the back. Nope, he's dead. Let me help you. Next guy is alive. Next guy is alive. Next guy is dead. Next guy is dead. Next guy is alive. Okay. So that's three dead. All right, next up, your pumas are firing. Yes, uh, so four shots from the pumas into T-70s. All right, is that short or long range? That is short range. Okay. Three hits. 18-9. All right, so uh, two on one, one on the other. Yes. I am front armor four. You are 89. So I need fives or sixes here. Here's the guy with two hits. So one penetrate. Uh, I think it's a three, but it might be a four. I'll we'll double check. It. And the next guy uh, is a penetrate as well. So that's definitely destroyed. Okay. So Pumas have a firepower four plus, so... That guy is just bailed out. All right, and we'll just move straight on to my little anti-tank gun here. Okay. I'm hitting you on a four now because of that burning tank. Very nice. 
I missed anyway. Okay. And then at this unit here, he gets two shots into you. He is within 16 inch range. And he hits you once, 89. Okay. Uh, yeah, stop that. So <laughs> that's a equal. All right. We get it. So motivation. He's good. <laughs> All right, the rest of your cannon platoon? Yes, yeah, so uh, these two cannons here, um, two shots, hitting you on threes, fours, fives. Yeah, fours for concealment, fives for gone to ground. One hit. All right, it's 89 versus the Valentine's massive front armor of six. Yes. All right, well, the T-70 could do it. Let's see if this guy can do it. Whoa. Yes, he can. That was, that was even good enough for... <laughs> Stug firepower. <laughs> yeah, but not panther. All right, three panthers. All right, same thing. Needing fives to hit. Yep. Nope. No. Okay. The Valentines live another turn. As long as they cower. They now, <laughs> the question is, where are your stugs going? Um, We're going to do two shots from the stug into the T-70. Okay. And then six shots into the gun nuts. The, the gun's back here? There. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's do the one into the T-70, uh, needing threes to hit you. We hit you twice. All right, let's go to firepower. And you're destroyed. Okay. Okay, and then six stug shots at the guns. Yes. Um, yeah. So you are normally threes, fours because of range, and then fives because you actually get concealment from the foxholes, which uh, I do. is interesting. Yeah. So what's the point in going on to ground? Just for the... Gone, additional plus one? Gone to ground, yeah, I wouldn't make it one more harder to hit. Yeah. Yep. All right, so uh, you need uh, fives. One hit. You got one hit, and you were targeting this fellow here, right? Yeah. All right, so he's got a uh, four up save. Nope. And then. Firepower. Let's see, if firepower from you. Nope. Um, I think I'm going to. I don't know if I want to spend one. It's really rare that you just fail the saves on them, so. Yeah, who knows? What's no, I'll save them for the Panthers. That's probably better. Okay, any other shooting on your turn? Uh, nope, I think that's everything. All right, so that's your first turn. Let's see if I can pad out the game with my turn. All right, uh, first things first. Oh, I'm going to try to unpin these uh, fellows that you hit. They're unpinned, I believe, on a four, and uh, that's a fail. And then uh, reserves. Okay. I have two units in reserves, and I managed to get one. I think that's my first successful reserve roll. I think so. <laughs> uh, and so it's going to be my other um, hero rifle platoon, okay. or rifle company. One, two, three, four, roll five, up five, six. six. <laughs> on the back table. Okay. <laughs> So they're coming in here. All right, so those guys have moved on from the back edge of my deployment zone into that area. I am going to try to dig those guys in since you're just machine gunning them out in the open. So That's here, probably a good idea. Here we go. Uh, and that is a fail. I could really use these guys over there now. Yes. <laughs> um, all right, uh, so let's see. I don't think I have. Oh, yeah, maybe I have some more movement. All right, Jake, this might be very stupid. I don't know. They don't really matter that much. <laughs> they don't really matter that much? Well, Only wow, for thanks. slowing me down, not really for <laughs> attacking. But. This guy's going to make a uh, buck check, a cross okay. check. Sorry, cross check. Three up. <sighs> this guy's going to make a cross <laughs> Half check. Half the plan has already been. <laughs> the whole plan, the whole is plan has crumbled. Uh, all right, so they're, they're at a minus one to hit now. That's great news. Let me get that for you. <laughs> uh... He's going to move there. Okay. <laughs> so he can get some, he can shoot those cars over there. All right. Uh, all right. And with that, I think, um, actually here, these guys are going to move back four inches. You don't want your tigers running, or your panthers running over here and flanking. And then uh, I think I have some shooting, but not much. So we'll go to that next. All right. First up, we're going to drop a bombardment from this battery onto the half tracks kind of out there in the open so the template doesn't have to cover any uh, terrain yep so we're gonna hit them on a four on a four on a four there we go so normally you're hit on a three but um 
since I was the third attempt, you're going to be hit on a five. Yes. There's four half tracks. I don't care where you assign them. Uh, we got one hit on a half track. I'll just do it in sky on the end here. Okay. Let's see your saving roll, and you bounce it. And um, I think. Oh yeah, we got one shot here. Can you see if that's um, long range to that tiny little cart there? Uh, yes. Okay. So normally you're hit on threes, fours for range. One shot. Ah, curse you, range. <laughs> These other two Matildas? The other two Matildas are going to stay put no, because... Oh, actually, that unit had... Um, oh, no, they didn't try to blitz. They just failed their... Those two failed their cross-check. No, they're not going to shoot so that they stay... Um, don't you count as moving if you fail your bog checks? Uh, I'll double check, but they didn't go anywhere, so they haven't moved. So we'll take a look at that. All right, uh, my two Valentines here are going to fire into the gun half tracks. So I've got a six pounder, and uh, he's going to hit you normally on a three, but a four because of the woods. Yep, because you're not within two inches of the edge. And uh, that's two, two ones there. German movement's over. What'd you do? Um, so we've pushed everything forward. We have all of our machine guns laid to bear. So this is I've, this is my second to last turn. Um, so I'm going to try to just machine gun you for one turn, and then I can dump out all my infantry the following turn and crush you like the bug you are. All right, sounds sounds good. I mean, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> um, I was able to get four cars up here too. These three were still lagging behind a bit. Okay. Um, but I have a lot of machine guns pointed this way now. So that's good. Um, I will take fire from your uh, artillery in the back, but I don't care. <laughs> you have to. Yeah, it's just I gotta basically ignore it. And then over here, it doesn't really matter to the game, but I hate them and I'm going to kill them. Wow, they're British, you know. Those are British tanks. I don't care. They're in Russian swine have infiltrated them. Wow. wow. <laughs> I apologize any of our <laughs> Russian viewers for, for Jake's insensitivity. <laughs> But he is playing SS. Okay, well, <laughs> let's take a step back. <laughs> All right. I want to shoot you now. <laughs> go ahead. It's because I don't like you. <laughs> Why don't you shoot at my models instead? No. <laughs> All right, Panthers. All right, We'll Panthers. do the least exciting part. All right, so six shots. Uh, meeting at threes, fours to hit you because you attempted to move. And I shot. Yes. Many reasons. I hit you three times. Okay, well, do uh, two firepowers on one. Yep, so uh, the commander in chief here, he's destroyed, and then his buddy right next to him, he's bailed. Okay. Uh, I'm going to re roll it. Re roll that bail? Yes. Okay. Destroyed. Okay. And since he's within six of him, he can hop over there. Yes. Do you just want to fire your pumas at him to see if you can yes. finish him off? Two shots. I missed both of them. Okay. He lives, but he'll probably run away. Yes. All right, next. All right, next up, we... I see your commander has run out in the open. Yes. We are going to shoot two cars into him and two cars into the unit that just came on. All right, are we going to get any kind of cover through that smoke and wreck stuff? Um, no, not from this guy, but probably from this one. Yeah. So four shots a piece. Um, so the guy who is doesn't have any cover, three hits, and then the one where you're in cover, one hit. So four hits total. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Here are the saves. This guy, he's good. The next guy, he's double dead. But you wish I'd rolled that some other way. And uh, next? Um, next up, we have the other two into the fresh unit that's come on. Okay. We're just aiming, like, prioritizing everybody in the back okay. first. Um, so eight shots needing fours or threes. No, wait, you're fours, right? I no, I'm hit on threes. Oh, okay. That's good. because I... This unit over here is the only one that's hit on fours, the one that you shot up really well. 
Uh, so five hits on the fresh sheet. Okay. So you want to do the guys in the back. One, two, yep. three, and then these two commander and commissar? Uh, yes. Sound good? Sure. Okay. Oh, let me grab one more die. So here's for the commissar. He is dead. The commander, he is dead. This dude, he is dead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this dude, he lives. And this dude, he lives. So the commander will just swap there. So you killed four out of that uh, shot. You want to go to your next unit? Uh, yeah, why not? Um, so we'll just go to the Stugs next. Okay. Um, they have they only have one machine gun in them, so we'll do um, three, six, nine, twelve, everything into that unit that just came on again. Okay. Um, so four, eight, twelve. Targeting the guy farthest back in the open. Okay. So we're targeting this guy right here. Yeah. Uh, we hit you with everything. <laughs> okay, how many hits is that? Uh, that's 12. All right, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six guys left. So two for everybody. Yep. All right. So the commander, he's dead. The next guy next to him, he's dead. The next guy next to him, he's dead. The next row, first guy survives, second guy's dead, and the last guy is okay. All right, so you killed four more with that volley. Nice. They're pinned. Oh, I guess the commander can swap to someone. <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> and there we go. Of course, they're testing now because they only have two stands left. Yes. All right, next. Six. Okay, so my half tracks are going into the guys that went gone to ground, so now they are sixes to hit. Yeah. But I'm now, just to point out, these would be fives to hit, but they're dug in. Yes. Okay. I feel like the odds are still better on sixes. <laughs> okay. Uh, three or four wounds. Four hits? We're not playing 40k. Whatever. With your wounds, take they're your gonna wounds be out wounds of you. in a second because you're going to fail them off. All right, let's see. we got one, two, three, four. It looks like we only have four guys left. Perfect. So we'll start here, we'll go clockwise. First guy, dead. Next guy, dead. Next guy, survives. Next guy, survives. To all the people who are like, oh, you should have shot the foxhole guys in your face. <laughs> who are those people? I don't know. <laughs> our, our dear viewers? Wow. No, not them. Uh, somebody else. Oh, somebody else. Okay. <laughs> not a viewer. <laughs> all right, and that was, uh, they're still pinned down, so we don't need to worry about them being pinned yes. down. Yes, okay. and now they're testing. Uh, and then next... Um, next we have, we have these last four remaining. Um, what we're going to do is put, let's go ahead and put two half tracks into the two guys remaining and two half tracks into the other two guys remaining. Okay. Um, so we'll go for the veteran guys first. So I think these shooting at these two, you're going to be going over rock wall or... For me? Yeah. All right, the change of, of heart here, these guys are all going to fire at the platoon that's uh, dug in. Yeah, since you don't have command nearby, I kind of like to pin them now. So that would be cool. Okay. Um, so here we go. We need fives. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Well, you needed to pin them down. So let's do some saves. Targeting the guys in the back. And right. the commissar. And the commissar. Yeah. That's oh, no, so that's cool. Yeah. So there's five. So how about something like that? Sure. Okay. This guy is good. This guy is good. This guy is good. Oh, this platoon apparently can stick around. And that platoon. So when they're dug in that they... I was going to say, I didn't even get to the foxhole part. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Any other shooting? Um, I think that was everybody. Okay. On to uh, my last Soviet turn. Yeah. All right, uh, some tests here. Uh, this lone Valentine on a three plus because of my 
for the fatherland. Okay, he sticks around. Did you just say for the fatherland? Yeah. That's my rule. <laughs> oh, for the motherland, whatever. <laughs> Father, mother, right, don't you hate it when they're fighting? And then uh, uh, this platoon of two, do they unpin? No. Do they stick around on a three plus? No. So they're gone. They run away. And then this platoon of two over here, do they unpin? Yes. And do they stick around on a three plus? Yes. Dang it. And then, do these guys unpin on a four? They do. So, everyone's unpinned. They didn't run away. And uh, that's it. So now, my last platoon comes in. Yes. My heavy HMG squad. You don't even have to roll for it to come in. Well, but no, but I gotta roll what corner it's in. Yes, and you're gonna roll a five or six. I want a one or a two. Nah. Uh, okay, <laughs> excellent. At least we're still in our half tracks. <laughs> Alright, so we turn's done. This is my last turn. Alright. Valentine's gonna stay put. He's gonna try to take out your pumas. It's a thing. Normally your pumas are dead by now. It's true. So we'll see if we can do that. So, um, you said that was short range or long range? Uh, short range. Okay. I think. Pretty sure. So, uh, that's what you rolled against me. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I rolled a one and two, so. <laughs> we got one hit. Yay! So it's, uh, that's a two pounder. So I could so save it. it's a seven versus your... I think I'm run number one. All right, we'll roll and see if it's high. Okay, so... I think it does matter. <laughs> we'll figure out what it is. Okay. You're shortchanging your pumas. They have front armor three, so that bounces yeah, it. that was awesome. All normally, right. normally you shoot like a dais two with them or something. <laughs> now, really, um, I've got some guys here that are going to take shots into those things. Unless that platoon is going to be part of your assault. Is that platoon going to be part of your... Assault. I mean, probably. All right, then I'm definitely going to take the time to shoot at him. I'm within striking distance. Of course it is. All right, so two shots into those guys. It's going to be short range, but you get concealment from those burning wrecks. Yep. So it's going to be force. Two shots. We got one hit. It's uh, anti-tank seven versus your front armor. One. One with those guys. Yep. So. Uh, which We're one going are you with in? the gun guy? The lead gun. All right. Yep. Um, I guess I don't really care about him actually. And they all have one team in them. Yes. Five, so... Six. Failed. Yeah, so firepower of four plus, bail up. And then over here, these four guns are going to be firing into that unit of half-tracks over there. So it's going to be eight shots. They are within 24, but they are... I'll check the closest guy. He might be short range, but the other ones are definitely not. All out of range. All right, yeah, then we can roll them all at once. So normally uh, threes, fours for range, fives for either the field or the stone fences or whatever. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's see a bunch of fives. We need at least four fives and sixes. We got two. So we'll do the two closest to the building, please. Okay, and your AT is... Nine. Nine? Okay, so I can't stop it. Okay. So this guy? That guy there, we're rolling a uh, four up firepower. I got him. And bailed out. Okay. Um, so he has two guys inside. All right, so two saving throws. They're both good. All right, so they have to bail out on the opposite side of the half track. Yeah. Next up, this unit of 76 millimeter artillery spotting from him is going to go basically right behind them so I'm not covering any terrain and I am staying four inches away from my infantry so I'm just ranging in on a good old-fashioned four. Okay. Let's see it. Ah, I saw it for a second. There we go. It's always so, the second time. <laughs> or the third time. So uh, normally you're hit on three so fours you've got a bailed out half track. Let's do him first. He's hit. The other two half tracks are hit and then the two infantry uh, one of them is hit. Okay, so one of the infantry, he's good. Uh, half track starting here, working my way down. Good, good. That bailed out guy. Good, and that's it. That's it, but they are pinned down because they took a hit from artillery. Yes. And I think that is it, because those guys fired. They don't have range, I'm sure, to the Pumas. Uh, yep, that's it. So let's see what you can do on your last turn. Okay. Can you execute a textbook? Uh, assault of the objective. We'll see.
German movement. Yes. Looks like a lot of German movement happened. Yes, everything is basically in your face, okay. except for these guys, because I tried to drive them through the woods and get there, but they both bugged. Okay. Um, but yeah, we were just talking about it. So basically, because I'm very always very confused on how new objectives work, but apparently I have to be contesting the turn prior. No, to, you just have to start like, your turn. Whatever, yeah. yeah. I'm, whatever, I'm not contesting now. But since we're playing for fun anyway, and I, like, I already won anyway, where I should have just set up this one turn earlier and then attacked you. Yeah like right in that turn, because then I could have done it, but we're just kind of kind of pretend I did, but this is still going to be our last turn. Yeah, so yeah. So we'll see how much of it I can kill you. Yeah, and it's a, that's just an important rule. That's how the latest version of Flames of War, you hold an objective, is you start your turn within four inches of the objective, and then you end your turn with no enemy within four inches. So it lets you put a guy there and shoot everyone off and win. Yeah, so uh, yeah, but, you just have to start contesting it, yeah. which is new. So really, we're just interested in what can happen over here. Yeah. All right, you, uh, you want to go ahead and uh, uh, explain what movement you did? Uh, I mean, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. Everybody hopped out, yeah. <laughs> and really we have just these two units that will be going into the fight. Yeah, yeah, because um, those that infantry is pinned down. Yeah, I just got them all out because their machine guns are still good. Yep. So, um, But yeah, and then over here... Right, we, we, there's two ways of winning. I could break your company. Um, that's definitely probably the harder way to do it, but we'll see. You know, it could happen. Yeah, because the second row is still dug in. It's just the first row that hopped forward to let my guns move this way. Yeah. So that would be a lot harder. Because I do have one unit, two units, three units, four units, and my heavy machine guns that just came on, five units yep. in my core formation. All right, well, where do you want to start? Um, let's go ahead and start over here. Okay. Um, so basically we're just going to use these four half tracks. Uh, two of them are going to go against the two guys in the open. Okay. And then the other two are going to go against the dug-in infantry. All right, let's see some dice. So against the two guys needing fours. Yeah, because they're the only infantry I have that's hit on fours. Looks like two hits each, right? Yep. All right, the guy on my left, let's see. Oh, he's dead. The guy on my right, he survives. So... He's dead, but he'll swap over here. And he's down to one. All right, and then the guys that are in the foxholes, uh, needing fives. Um, four hits. Four hits. Where do you want those hits? Uh, everybody in the back. Okay, so it's going to be one, two, three, four. Look good. Uh, Where do you want to go over here? Let's go to there. To this guy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so here, he's good, good, of course the dig dug-in guys, good, and this guy, uh, firepower, six up, no, nope. okay, so you're one hit away from pinning that unit right there, yes, all right, next, um, next up, the, these guys are gonna go, okay, um, all three of these are gonna go into the heavy machine guns, okay, Now, once you get out of your half tracks and you have infantry, you just have a stupid amount of machine gun fire. Yes, it is a lot. Okay, here we go. So these are hitting on threes. Yes. Um, I missed with three, so that's four, eight, nine. Okay, so that's three for each gun. Let's see if I can get a three up. We'll start here and we'll go down the row. Three up. Nope. Almost. Three up. Nope. And the last one, hey, he survives. So dead and dead. The last HMG is right there. Stug time. Yeah, so we're going to split fire with our stugs. So one of them is going to shoot at the HMG that's left over there. Okay. Um, this guy is going to shoot at the commander, and so is this guy. And this one's going to aim at the AT guns over there. All right. Um, so for the shot that's all the way at the HMG, one shot. Nope. Missed. Um, three, six shots into that commander that's running through the field. Uh, okay. We hit him three times. All right, let's see. He's good. You're really good at making three saves on one guy. <laughs> and then one shooting at these guns. Yeah, three shots, two hits. All right, so we'll do one, two. Yeah. Sound good? So uh, these have a... What do these have? A four up save. 
No, these have a three up save. Okay, there you go. Okay. Next. Um, next up, let's do more machine guns. Um, so from this unit here, so it's going to be uh, normally they're, I think they're MGs, aren't they? They're three, but moving they're two. Yeah, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, uh, fourteen, because we can see these guys down here. Okay. So we're all going to just go into that that unit. Dug into right platoon. Yeah. Right. Just roll everything. Um, oh, actually, you know what we should do? I guess your HMG's already pinned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so everything into them. Okay. Is there still one more unit left in here? There's one unit, one stand in that unit. Okay, and then the big unit. The big unit. And then the, the HMG. Unit. Yep. Okay. That guy turned backwards, just confused me. <sighs> All right, so 14 shots. Looking for fives. Yep. Uh, six shots. Six hits. That's a pretty okay. good shot. All right. We'll go like this. And... All right. Let's see. That guy is good. This guy is good. This guy. Firepower. Six plus. Yeah. This guy is good. This guy is good. And this guy is good. See? When they're dug in, no problem. Uh, half tracks here are going to aim at that HMG. Okay. And in fact, everything else here is just going to aim at that HMG since you're. He's really not doing much now that he's pinned. He's only like rate of fire two. Yeah. So, but, he's but you still, still want to kill him? Weakest out of everybody. Well, he's same three up save as everybody. Yeah. But the, oh yeah, he's behind that wall. Too, yeah. So that's. So it's bulletproof cover. I don't even know anymore. So, I, I don't think it. Ma I guess these guys are rate of fire one right now. They're rate of fire two, but. Yeah. I don't know. Either half way. tracks into him. I don't okay, know. half tracks. Okay, you want to kill him? I don't know anymore. I just want to kill every person that's over there. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, what's that? Uh, four. Yeah. All right. So I need four, three ups. Okay. So two, six up firepowers. Yay! Oh, well, there your wish came true. You, you murdered him. You monster. You monster. I tried. All right. Uh, that infantry that's pinned, they can shoot. They're just uh. Moving yeah. rate of fire. You can cut it. All right, uh, the only guys could shoot are right here, so six shots. Oh, I guess he can because that half track's destroyed. So yeah, you can eight shoot shots people. aiming at that unit. Uh, we hit once. All right, you want to go into back again? Yes. Like this guy? Yeah. He's good. All right. Um, I guess those those infantry over there haven't shot yet. No, they haven't. So all of them are going to shoot into that one guy that's left. Okay. Um, so it looks, it looks like, like only just three. Oh, the building guy. Yeah, building. Yeah. So, so he can shoot, and he can shoot. He can't shoot yes. him. Yes. Well. Oh yeah, because you're. Oh no, you're on the because you're on the flat line, and your base is sticking out. Oh. That's okay. right. It's 180 degrees from the flat part. Um. So two, four. That's the example that's in the book, at least. Like shooting out of buildings. Uh, oh, your force. So two hits on him. Two hits. All right. Can he be a hero again of the Soviet I've Union? I've shot him a lot already. No. no yeah. He's dead. <laughs> there, sir. Hope you're happy. All right. Uh, that might be it. Yeah, I think that's everything over there. Um, let's just go away and then come back to see what I did over here because it doesn't matter as much, and then we don't have to film it. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, we're back. Uh, yeah, I just decided it's not worth really doing anything over there, and I don't care about it anymore. <laughs> well, let me, let me, uh, let me clarify that. You, you shot your Panthers trying to punk him out, and they all missed. But not only did they miss, it was like 1-1-2. One, one, yeah, so was, I was, was like, a, you know what, I don't bad. really feel this side anymore. Yeah, so we're, we're not, <laughs> that part of the yeah. battlefield we don't if care it was about. about it. If I had, like, one more turn to, like, break your company, I think I could, and it would be worth shooting all that stuff, but right now it's not worth it. Yeah. Um, right. So yeah, we're gonna do assaults. And in a tournament, you would not care about that stuff because this is where you would win or lose the 
the game. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and assault with this unit first. All right, so move everyone into base contact. They can move four inches. Yes. And uh, with infantry, they can contact someone who is within four inches, you know, within base contact of an enemy. Yes. All right, so Jake had four units ending up in uh, contact here, so we're going to figure out defensive fire. All right, so we figured out defensive fire. These three are going to fire. Those five teams up in the front are going to fire, and they're going to keep their heads down. So basically, it's going to be five shots <clears throat> needing um, needing threes and three shots needing fours. Okay. All right, here we go. Wow. Ouch. <laughs> and then these are on fours. Oh, well, that averaged it out quite a bit. So there's four, one for each guy. Okay. So I'll just go down the line. Okay. Um, so, oh, I guess we should have... Wait, so where, which, how many shots came from the guys on the back line? Uh, well, three shots came, but only one hit. Okay, so that one, because I get bulletproof cover against that one. So he passed it anyway. And then the others, so the first, the second down the line, third down the line, and fourth down the line. So all good. All right. All right, so I'm gonna do these pretty separately because we can to maximize our hits. So he's gonna to try to go on him. He's dead. He's gonna go on him. He misses. And you're hitting on a three up. Those two yeah. have to go on him. So just might as well. Well, he's within two inches too. So he could potentially kill him. Oh, okay. But he missed anyway. And then the last guy. All right, let's roll for counterattack. Nope, they break off. And I think with that, we're going to call the game done. Yeah, because there's, yeah, that's what you would do anyways. You would just break off, and you're still within four, and then the game's over. Uh, I would probably go in and assault, because I, if I would have been successful, I, mean, yeah, I might have been able to wipe those guys out. Well, the key is I'd need to have someone within four to even have the game go on if it went on to a hypothetical next turn. Exactly, yeah. But now, here's though... Uh, Game's over. You win. I have no problem with that. Um, no double win. You double win. Well, I didn't win this one. Yeah, Single but win. it's close <laughs> enough. So in a in a tournament, this is one of the problems with the encounter in games like it. Yeah, I hate it. Is <laughs> it's harder to uh, win. Partic it depends on the opponent too, because some opponents, like if we got to that point, I would have said, "It's your game. You've won it." There's the writings on the wall. You know. We don't need to, to play any further. Yeah. Just uh, FYI, though, that's never happened to me in a tournament before. <laughs> or you run into guys at the tournament that, that are like, no, I'm going to fight to the bitter end and try to rob you. Even though I know I've lost, I'm going to try to rob as many points from you as possible. Yeah. Which it, is totally within the rules to do. Yeah. Um, and it's like, right, I would probably do that if... Right, the guy, like if we were pitted, if I was pitted up against someone who was also ranked very highly and we're like in the middle of the tournament, I would do that because I want him to stay at my level so I can potentially win the tournament. So, right, like it's what you would do like nine times out of ten. But if you're at like the bottom tier of the tournament and you know it doesn't matter, then I would be like, yeah, you won the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's only when it's kind of writing on the wall, you know, if it's um... exactly. But we, we wanted to keep pushing just to kind of show. I don't know, almost how hard it is to win in an encounter fight. Yep. Because the the fact that you just start with uh, both sides are starting with 60% of their force, yep. both sides really aren't going to push unless you have an obvious advantage already, which would be pretty rare, or someone really misdeployed somewhere. So you would wait for all of your stuff to come on, and then it becomes this bigger slugfest. Yeah. And really, I feel like free-for-all, like I feel like 8 times out of 10 ends up being, all right, who's going to fall on their sword? Like, throw their, like, be at a disadvantage, throw their army into this big fight over here, get killed, or push through, right? It's like one or the other. It's like you push through, you win the game, or you're decimated and you lose. Like, it's a very huge swing. Yep, and I've been to tournaments, too, where I've been like an infantry company or an armored infantry company versus a tank company, an encounter or free for all, and the tank company just hangs back. Yeah, which and doesn't push, and yeah. then either I'm going to push, and that's a losing proposition, or what happens? Yeah, and that part of that can be mitigated by good list building, but some things you can't always anticipate are things like how the board's set up. 
Yeah. Um, you know, when your reserves come in. Um, well, one of the hard things too, which I had problems with you in older versions, is you would do the um, the Hellcat uh, company, which was already, I think, one of like the best ones. But it was like where you had all of like your armor reconnaissance cars, and then your Hellcats would just ambush from those. Yep. And it was like such a good rule. But not only were Hellcats that list was really good against tanks, it was also really good against infantry because all of those scout units had machine guns for days. Yeah. So like, if you were an infantry company, you'd be like, oh, against Hellcats, that's actually not bad. But you had so many machine guns that you could just murder me if i moved so like in all of those encounter games i would just stand still because it's like oh i i i die but then you would stand still because you would just wait for your hellcats to ambush something yeah so it was like always this that's why i just hate uh free for alls is because it it sets you up for kind of a boring game it can be yeah and i think this was pretty fun i mean talking about our game now yeah and what happened um i think the the big turning point was my is 2 is dying so easily yeah and it's kind of amazing like the the pyramid of like units and what trickles down and happens after that yeah. the fact that they died so easily which is really a shame like i wanted them to actually do something yeah. um and you got unlucky on you failed like three morales to make that happen and i figured to fail the firepower over here several times yeah exactly to destroy some tanks and so like i always was like had the i was always going to be the attacking army except for those like they were the one like oh what if and like if you destroyed my panthers that's a serious thing because i don't really have a lot that can kill is2s after that True. so that's why that was such a big thing but as soon as i killed them it's funny once i killed them my panthers actually became useless but then all of a sudden i had to push you like 100 percent yeah and right that was the thing that you were talking about too is like a tank company just sitting back in a free-for-all is i mean you can do it but it's super it's lame. lame like if you're <laughs> tracked and you move fast like you're attacking like yeah against an infantry company yeah that's like the unspoken rule basically and that's one of the things that the uh, the new matrix for missions um goes a ways to um to help yeah. you know how like you can say well i'm going to choose attack or maneuver or defend and then the other person picks what they're doing and then you roll on the table to see what it is. Yeah. So a lot of times the tank companies will attack and they're going to be the attacker and hold the line. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have an infantry company attacking a tank company and hold the line, which is terrible. <laughs> but yeah, I think so. I, you know, even if I think you would be at more an advantage, even if those guys had survived and knocked out your Panthers, it would have been. They only have yeah. one shot each. Exactly. Um, so they can't do a lot of damage. So three shots. If they move, it's one harder for them to hit. Um, and yeah. you have so many half tracks that, I mean, you could have been throwing things at them for days and not matter. Yeah, like let's say like you wiped them and you still had your full army. You attacking me still would have been really hard. Like I probably would have stayed in my half tracks because you have so much artillery still. Yeah. And I was obviously safe as we saw throughout the battle. And then I would have probably just hid my stugs and like sniped, I don't know, gun teams at long range. It would have been much more of a slugfest, I feel like, if it had gone that way. Yeah, and that's the problem, too, with uh, Soviets versus Germans, is your guns outrange my guns. So, technically, taking it slow, your Stugs could have stayed out of range of these guys and just yeah. picked them off till they're done. Which, yeah, your AT isn't really high enough to really threaten a Stug either. And But it's hard to hit you at long range. Like, you're, it would probably, me at long range, shooting at them would probably take, to kill all four guns, I don't know, like four or five turns of shooting at them. Maybe, yeah. I mean, it would take a while. <laughs> you're hitting them on fours, fives if they're dug in. So, you're Which, hitting them on fives. Yeah. Eight shots a turn, you know, you're going to get two or three at each turn. Yeah, it's, uh, not, it's not great. I'm only going to fail half of those, and then you still need a firepower. So, yeah. yeah, at least five or six turns. But once you get them down to two guns, or one gun, sorry, two guns, they're, oh, no, the, that's infantry. You get them down to one gun, they're testing. Exactly, yeah. So, right, it's just, it would just take forever. Yep. And that's the, you have a very, your actually list reminds me of my Airborne, because my Airborne are so good at defending, um, especially because I have like eight, six pounders in that list. Yeah. And like, you charge in that, you die. <laughs> like, I remember I did a, in a tournament, I had hold the line against like a Tiger company, and I just put my Airborne strip on the front, six pounders behind them, and just waited, and I won. And unfortunately, that's the boring way to play, but that's just kind of what infantry companies typically lead to is staying stationary and kind of waiting yeah and that's a style of play you know with airborne you can make a case to attack because they're so elite if you remember yeah. to buy gammon bombs yes um i hate that they're separate <laughs> different discussion <laughs> uh, but uh infantry companies are not my most favorite to play i yeah. prefer being much more they're more. just more static yeah mechanized is my personal favorite 
Uh, well, that's a great list that uh, I, I built you, I think. Yeah, this is a definitely a very good list. The only thing is I would never take it to a tournament. I would always want to be hit on fours, the veteran status. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we did that because... Just because we matched. We wanted to match yeah. for this battle. But, like, mechanized, who hit inf your infantry and uh, half-tracks are hit on threes, is brutal. Like, yeah. <laughs> if your opponent has just these little guys sitting around, like... They're so scary. Yeah. Not in not in this game, but yeah. yeah. I mean, I only own four of these. Well, uh, I had I had to avoid them the whole game. Like I never went close to you until the last turn where you yeah. couldn't shoot me. <laughs> now maybe having another unit of four because you can take up to two of these units in a yeah. in the formation and having one with each big infantry blob. And they're they're cheap and they keep tanks off of your infantry. Yeah. Which is they're not going to keep panthers away though because they're only AT. Well, panthers are never going to charge you. Seven. Yeah, it's not like yeah, it's it's all about the charge, right? Yeah. Their AT sucks. Even stugs or panzer. Yeah, stugs or, would run over them. Yeah, they're just they're not very good. But I'm not going to charge you. Is the thing. Stugs stink at uh, assault. By the way, they only yeah. hit on, they hit one worse than, the normal army. So those guys would, I think, in your army would be hitting on fours and assault instead of I threes. I believe so. Yeah. But the panthers. And you don't have many of them, but they hit on threes. But that side skirt of five yeah. is, is dangerous. I wouldn't want to risk it. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go, guys. Yeah, that's our that's our big battle. That's... Let us know. We probably won't do too many infantry slugging battles because it takes a while. But It takes a while. We might do some infantry defending. But yeah. even then, it's uh, infantry games tend to bog down. Yeah. And that's another reason why I like taking tank lists to tournaments. Win or lose, usually the game's over fairly fairly fast compared fast. to an infantry battle yeah then you can just go chat to your friends <laughs> <laughs> comment on their games exactly <laughs> all right guys well there you go that is a german victory against the soviet shock rifle company i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please let us know down in the comments below also please give us a like and subscribe it lets us know that you guys like this content and we can produce more of it if you do like flames of war battle reports please check out our patreon which is pretty cool, isn't it, Jake? It is. We now have a lot of battle reports. In yeah, I think we have at least five or six as of yeah. this video's release. Um, and there, patrons get ex uh, access to an exclusive battle report every month. And uh, there are quite a few Soviet versus German slugfests on the Patreon, so check that out. And the great part, I really do love Flames of War versus like 40K, is they haven't like gone out of date at all. <laughs> like our old battle reports. So old like battle even report. our first Patreon one... All the rules still apply. Yes. Whereas 40k it changes like every couple months. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. They're all they're yeah. all still valid. So they're all, and they'll probably be valid for a long time. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching, and keep on wargaming.